Hey, what's up? Dilio T2K coming to you with this vlog. And in this vlog, I wanted to share some information. Um, title of the video How to Fix Computer Noise in Computer Studio Monitors. And, um, you know, I wanted to do this vlog as soon as I got this problem fixed because I, I bet there's somebody out there in the world who's had the same problem that I had and kind of just had to learn to deal with it and live with it and hope for a better tomorrow after searching tons of videos forums and stuff like that so I'll just share my story with you and kind of hope with the intention and hopes that it will help someone else in their problems so for a long time especially when I moved into this place and to uh, other places and stuff like that I would have this computer noise it, it would sound like a, you know in the studio monitors it would be like you know you know what noise I'm talking about it never goes away and you know and, and if you know a little bit about electronics and and musical electronics you know okay ground issues right well you know i would try different outlets now mix outlets and i would never quite fix the problem and i thought that, okay well since i'm using a firewire interface let me use a uh a usb interface and still had the same problems no matter what i did and you know, I even got a power conditioner for the for the rack, and I was thinking, hmm, I hope that fixes it. There's also like Hum Eliminators, which starts at seventy dollars, and all this other stuff. And you know, I never really quite found a solution, and I just want to give a shout out to Martin Ross for pretty much giving me the intel I needed. So, you know, I used this outlet, and I was thinking it's grounded because it has the ground ports in it. It's grounded. You know, what I'm saying I never took time to test. To see if there's an actual physical ground wired in and when i finally and again and i'll just put this disclosure here that i'm not telling you to do any of this all of this if you invest any of this is it's your responsibility um if you if you're not familiar with electrical circuits and, and making sure that they're are not uh hot and they don't have electricity going through them please do not mess with them you did not whatever you do is up to you on this video I, I gotta make sure i stress that because it's it's really dangerous stuff if you if you're not careful um so you know i'm plugging it into this outlet and there's no power there's no there, well there's power but there's it's still dirty power there's still a there's still a computer and at a current at the very quiet moments of the night after midnight it's really quiet there's no ceiling fan running you can just hear that and it's just so annoying and i kind of had to just learn to live with it and uh, I'm here to tell you today that you don't have to live with that and there are some things to try so when I finally took the power outlet out of the wall which is actually that one right there which I no longer use anymore um, I come to find out that there was no ground wired into it at all the whole time I've been here there's been no ground so obviously no wonder I would have a ground loop but but because yeah. you know you're focused more on creation and, and all this other stuff you don't really feel like dealing with it you know so a friend of mine Martin Ross kind of read me uh, about a power circuit uh, GCFI which is a ground interrupt whatever you can Google that and uh, I wired it into another outlet which is actually across the wall and it has a ground wire to it you know when I finally took it out it's like oh okay there's a ground here I'm going to replace the outlet with that one to make sure and you know I asked him how, how can this work is there a chip and stuff like that or what I, I don't know but I switched over to the power outlet with the real ground <laughs> so lesson number one I would say is to make sure that for your studio equipment to make sure that there's a real ground going on there's a uh, line testers you can just plug in and it'll tell you or you can get a multimeter and test the hot probe with the ground probe and if there's a circuit of 120 volts then you are grounded but if there's no con continuity between the hot connector and the ground then there's no real ground there you can go from the hot to the neutral and uh, there's supposed to be a circuit there but it's also supposed to be a circle between hot and ground like I said once again study your own research and make sure that what I'm saying is accurate for you and stuff like that you know I want you to be responsible you know uh, so I switched out the circuit or I switched out the power outlet put put a, a new power outlet in with the GCFI or ground connection interrupt protocol in it and uh, I plugged everything back up I fired it up and I'll be, I'll be honest with you I expected to have the same problem I expected as soon as I got studio one running or machine running or something where there's hard drives because you know with the computer loop if you're familiar with this there's a you know you can hear you can hear you can hear your computer think basically 
through your studio monitors. And it was just so annoying. And I had to kind of just tune it out, tune it out, tune it out. But I switched the power outlets and I found one with a real ground on it. And uh, I hooked it up and now I have a clean studio. No, all that. And, um, you know, I really kind of honestly just gave up on it and just said, hey, I'll just keep making music. I want to make music more. This is just one of the challenges. This is the struggle's real. So I just got to live with this problem. But that wasn't the case, you know. So if you're dealing with, uh, and I'll wrap this up real quick because I, I know I'm talking a lot. If I wrap this up real quick, if you have computer noise in your monitors, and you're hearing the hard drives tick, and you hear the computer think, and you hear that RAM going, and all this other stuff. Uh, step one: make sure that you actually do have a real ground connected to your system. Uh, just because it has that third hole doesn't necessarily mean that it's grounded, as I learned. And two: don't be afraid to have a G uh, uh, a power outlet with the GCFI. Hope I'm saying it right. I'm probably saying it wrong. Installed on it just to make sure that everything's happy. And uh, that will eliminate your problem. Power conditioners will not get rid of this noise for you. I tried that. Uh, taking grounds out of the wires going to your studio monitors. I did that. I broke off the ground off the speaker to see if I could fix it that way. Um, I was thinking that I needed an audio interface with a ground in it to eliminate the problem. And since I've done this, uh, I'm able to use a wall wart powered interface, which is what I'm using right here. And... Um, you know, I'm just blown away. Uh, I cannot stress how much this means to me and how much it makes my place of work feel that much more new and that much more professional now that I no longer have that quiet computer noise that probably only I noticed, but it's still there, you know, and it's it, the problem is solved. I'm very happy. And uh, I just wanted to share that in a vlog uh, with hopes that it helps someone else, you know. Check your grounds, make sure that, make sure you got grounds. You know, not everybody wires everything properly in, in houses, as I can see. And, uh, but uh, maybe there's hope. So do some research. You know, if, if you're uncomfortable with, with power outlets and rewiring them and breaking the circuits at the circuit breaker and testing to make sure that the, all that, get somebody else that can help you out with it. But it all comes down to the outlet. For a clean monitors, it all comes down to the outlet and the, the power coming in to it and uh so i hope that helps somebody uh i gotta get to work on some tracks with some people and i'll take talk to you guys later peace